What's up guys? Today we are talking about centering clay. Centering clay is probably the most important part of throwing pottery. If your clay is not centered, you're not gonna end up with a good pot. You gotta start with centered clay. Quick snapshot of the five steps to centering clay. Number one, start with a wedged ball of clay. Two, throw it down as close to the center of the wheel as you can. Number three, use your heel of your palm, this part of your palm on one hand, and use this side on the top. Number four, don't let the clay move your hands. Make your hands move the clay. And number five, time on the wheel. It just takes a ton of time to be able to feel really comfortable centering clay. So we'll be in the studio and we will go through in depth each of those steps to how to center clay. Obviously this is not the only way to center and there are lots of different ways, but this is a great way to get started and then you can really get comfortable and do it your own way after that. See you there. We are talking about centering clay today. One of, if not the most important parts of throwing clay is getting it right in the center. It's also one of the most frustrating parts for beginners. Uh, most beginners don't make it long because they can't get it centered. But once you get it centered, everything is so much easier from there. So we just gotta learn how to get it centered. Uh, we're gonna start with just a little bit of clay um, and then we'll throw something a little bit bigger as well. My five keys to centering the clay. Start with a wedged ball of clay. So we've wedged this. Second key, throw it down as close to the center as you can. So we have our lines right here, so we're gonna throw it down right there. And we can already see it's like very close to center. The third key, using your palm for the side over here and using this side of your hand for the top. So I'm gonna get it wet with my sponge and I'm pushing from the side first to get it in the center and I'm pushing from the top with this part of my hand right there. So I can already see it's pretty close to centered right there. But say it's, say it gets off center. See how off center that is? The fourth key to get, getting it centered is to make the clay move with your hands, not letting your hands move with the clay. So what I mean by that is a lot of beginners, when they're trying to get the clay centered, their hands are just going like this, right? And that's because that's what the clay's doing. Well, if we can keep our hands in one position and make the clay move to our hands instead of making our hands move with the clay, that's how we get it centered. So you'll see, I'll come in and I'll just lock this arm in. I just lock it and then make that clay move to my hand. So I'll lock that in, and then I'll come from the top, and then we're centered. So that's how we go from being uncentered to centered very, very quickly. Oftentimes when I'm teaching young children, if they have, if they have an uncentered piece of clay, like this, they'll be going like this, and then I'll just take my hand and I'll just push and just lock that right there. And then all of a sudden they feel it going into center. And the fifth step, to centering clay is time on the wheel. You just gotta do it a lot. So say you can't get it, you try throwing a pot and it's just not good, move on, try it again. You just gotta do it a ton of times until it just becomes really comfortable. So we got a little bit bigger piece of clay that we're gonna throw now. I recommend starting with just like a little bit around one pound because sometimes a bigger piece of clay can be hard for beginners because it takes a little bit more strength, but starting with too little clay and you'll just knock it around and it's really hard to get in center. 
All right, starting with a round wedged piece of clay. Throw it as close to center as possible. So a lot of beginners will, if they're in a class or something, they'll constantly be like, oh, is this centered, is this centered, is this centered? So how do you know when it's centered? Well, so when the clay is going back and forth like this and it causes your hands to go like this, that is not centered. Centered. Not centered. Centered. That is not centered. So once you feel like you have a good base and you can center pretty well, the next thing is to be able to cone it up and go back down, because that can be a really good way to wedge on the wheel. So this is just basically squeezing from the bottom and then going to the top. And so this is a really good way you can get air bubbles out, you can get the clay really consistent, and then you can push down from the top and get it back to center. So just really think about locking that arm in. If your clay is going like this and you're just and you're just following the clay and your hands are going back and forth like this, just think about locking those hands in and making the clay move to your hands instead of moving your hands with the clay. Your hands are the boss. You make that clay go where it needs to be. All right, so we are gonna have my buddy Sam try and center just to show how hard it actually is and to show what a lot of beginners actually look like. Sam's gonna try and center some clay. All right, Sam, go for it. All right, I probably haven't centered clay since Mr. Dorn's freshman pottery class. And I probably What a centering clay. So we're gonna get it a little wet for our Sam. So this is probably what it looks like for a lot of potters when they first start out. See how his hands just go back and forth? Come on, Sam, center it. <laughs> so clearly not centered, right? Oh, that's pretty good. You did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> good thing I've watched so many John the Potter videos that this is second nature. That's pretty fun, actually. Thank you, Sam, for demonstrating what a beginner uh, pottery student may look like. Sam has taken pottery classes in the past, even though it's been probably a decade or more. So, he was able to get his centered, but ended up with a pretty terrible pot. Thank you guys for watching How to Center. I hope it helps you. Uh, we'll talk a little more at home, so. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it helped. Obviously, there are a ton of different ways to center clay. Uh, you'll find about a billion videos on YouTube. I just did it this way because I thought mine might be a little different and might be more of a clear-cut way to center clay. This wasn't really even the way that I was taught to center, but over the past 10 years of doing pottery, this is the way that I have found that works best for me. So hopefully a couple people out there got something out of the video. Uh, if you have other pottery friends that are struggling with centering, share the video. Subscribe for more tutorials over here. Like the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Happy potting.